Hi, my name is Nisarga Kadam. Welcome to my YouTube channel again. In our last video, I have displayed how I have created Nisarg's virtual assistant, which is chat with Nova. And I have just displayed you the functionality of Nova. In today's video, we are going to see how we can build such chatbot, which can integrate with Dialogflow and Facebook's integration of the Facebook page. And you can create one for yourself. So let's go ahead and let's get started with today's demonstration of how we can create a chatbot on Facebook. So first of all, let's navigate to Google Dialogflow. Now, if you remember last time I have created this chatbot, which is Mr. FB. So this time I'm going to create a new chatbot. So let's go ahead and let's create a new one. So this is the Nisarg FB, which I have created last time. Now this time I have to create a new chatbot altogether. So I'm going to say create new agent. In create new agent, I'm going to give it a name as, uh, let's say this time, uh, dance chatbot. Okay, so this is for my chatbot FB. I'm going to give it a name like this. I have given a default time zone. You can select a time zone in which you are in and you can select the language which you want. Uh, it's creating the instant instant of the chatbot. Okay. Now by default, you'll always get default and fallback intent. So that's wonderful. Now the first question that I want user to be asking is now definitely user will greet with this messages, but I'll just change this first message and I'll keep it as keep it as hi and this is a transformer bot so okay I, hi this is transformer bot how may i help you today now as we are creating a facebook chat messenger bo a bot for facebook chat messenger right so we just click on this plus button we click select facebook messenger and you select here use responses from the default tab as the first response so this is the default tab now default default tab works for google's normal dialogue flow uh, messenger also if you want to create a separate message for facebook messenger such as card images text responses you can add it here now i'm just using default as of now so i'll enable this option and I will say, hi, this is Transformer Bot. How may I help you today? And I'll ask a question mark. So this is going to be my first question. Once a user says hi or hello. Now, once a user says hi, hello, well, how may I help you and all that stuff. So I'll create a few instance um, intents. The first intent I'll create is for, let's say, hip hop. So I'll say hip hop and I'll save it. Now we are creating a simple chatbot for Facebook page. Now I'll give ahead context. We don't need context. We need a training phase. So I will train it as let's say hip hop. I want to know. Hip -hop. Some tell me about or uh, tell me some facts about hip hop dance. Okay, so like this, I've just added three or four, you can add um, facts about hip hop and that's it. And once this is done, I will add again a Facebook Messenger option. I will enable the default and here in the default or else you can go ahead and you can add responses here also. If you want text response, you can add here. And if you want to keep it default, so I will add some of the facts here from this repository which I have created. So I will say this is one of the fact, then the next fact of hip hop would be this one. So I will add it here and then I will add the next fact. So I'm just creating some of the responses where dialogue flow will automatically select one of the response runtime and it might show any one of the fact from this options so i'm just creating five or five options for each dance so i'll add this one and that should do so i will say now save so this i created as one intent which is for hip-hop now i have welcome intent after that i have hip-hop and i will create another intent let's say this one is going to be 
the salsa i'm going to save it and i'm going to train it with let's say so facts about salsa salsa dance salsa and uh, tell me more about salsa so like this and again responses so i will add facebook messenger enable it let's go back to default now this time i'm going to add some facts about salsa and again here and again here in the next 3d in the next okay so i'm adding some of the facts about salsa and i'm pasting it here which i have captured from internet i have not written it myself okay so i will type this one too here and that's it so i will go ahead and i will save it now once i have created salsa intent i will go ahead and create my last intent which is going to be uh, zumba now this facebook chatbot messenger i'm creating for one of my facebook uh, page which is about dance classes so that's why i'm adding this dance in case if you're wondering why i'm adding specifically dance so facts about zumba uh, tell me how zumba how can zumba help me like this and i will add some facts about zumba here right here in the text uh, in the text section so again am i forgetting something yes so i have to enable this facebook messenger option enable this one default and now let's go back back and add some more facts about zumba so i will add it here the next one goes right here after that this one go back and once i have completed this our work in dialog flow is almost done now i'm going to save this now once this is all done we can go back and now we have added three intents which is hip hop salsa and zumba on our dance chatbot fb where we have enabled the facebook messenger now if you go ahead and if you see the welcome intent also we have to enable here facebook messenger which we have okay perfect sounds good let's go back and our work here is done now in the next thing in the next as a next part if we want to integrate this chatbot with our one of our facebook page now if you already have a facebook page that's wonderful if you don't have a facebook page you will have to create one of the facebook page where you can go ahead and integrate the your dialog flow application now for that we need we need to follow some of the steps Now, first of all, as part of this video, what we are going to do is we are going to navigate to developer.facebook.com where if you have already logged in with Google, Facebook, then it's wonderful. You'll be automatically redirecting. Now click on my applications. As you can see for my last chatbot, I have created Nissan virtual assistant, which is now live and Facebook login and Facebook is already online and connected. Now, as part of the demonstration, I'm going to create a new application. So I'm just going to create a new app. Now, this is going to be for business integration, or you can just say integrate third party gaming for everyone else. Let's say business integration. This is just for me as of now. App name displayed. So this is going to be a, a transformer dancer. And I'm not going to interact uh, integrate it with any of the business account. I'm just going to go ahead and say create app id it says please complete security task yes i'm not a robot obviously i'm creating a robot submit now it will take some time to create an instance of application now once you create your app you can see your app id right here and now you can go ahead and into the products once you click on the products you can see add products to your app now what product which we are looking at is nothing but messenger so go ahead and click on setup messenger once you go ahead and set up a messenger you see this page now on this page what we have to do is we have to integrate our dialog flow with our facebook chat messenger let's go ahead in dialog flow this is the chatbot which we have recently created let's click on integration let's go below here and we have facebook messenger option available now indeed enable it and you can see there is callback url verified token page access token now what we need is we need to get your Facebook page access token and insert it in the fields below. Create your first 
token can be a string and click start below use the callback url to verify the token in the facebook messenger app for webhook setup wonderful so we already have created an application we will go ahead and we will say create new page click on that it will go ahead and it will create a new page now you can create a dummy page if you want to but as of now i don't want to create any page so i'll just close you can or use this option if you don't have a Facebook page already. But as I have already a page on Facebook, so I'll just say add or remove pages. So I'll click on add or remove pages. It will ask me to log in or verify my login. It is asking me to verify whether I am Mr. Kadam. Yes, continue. Now I have a couple of pages linked to my Facebook page. The one which I want to use is Transform Data Studio. So I will select this one. I will say next. It says login to review and Transform Data Studios might not work properly if you turn off these options. Okay, no problem, I'll say done. So you select your Facebook page if you already have or else you can go ahead and create a new page. Now you have now linked Transform Data Studio to Facebook. Okay, so I will click okay. And as you can see, your page is displayed here. Now generate a token for this page. Click on generate token. It says to protect your security, only share this token with the app developers you trust. I'll say I understand, I copy this and I say done. Once I copy it, I go here, I paste it here in the Facebook, uh, in the page access token. Now I need to create a verified token. I need to verify whether I'm using the same uh, application in the Facebook Messenger, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say verified token is nothing but, let's say, uh, you can create any string message if you want to. So this time I'm going to create nature underscore one, two, three, let's say, just to verify and I'm going to say start. It says bot was started. You click on OK. Now you can close this option. Let's go back to the Facebook developers option. Now what we have to do is we have to set up webhooks to receive messages or and other events sent by messenger use users. The app should be enabling the webhook integrations. Now to enable webhook integration, once you click here on add callback URL, you can see that callback URL and verified token. Now callback URL is nothing but the same thing which we just saw here, right here, right? Which is a callback URL. So you can copy it from here, copy it, come back to developer option of the Facebook, paste it in the callback URL and verify token was nature underscore one, two, three. And I will say verify and save. And that's it. So once this is generated, now once you have added access token, once you have integrated webhooks, go ahead and you can see the Facebook page you have integrated. You can add multiple pages now here. A webhook field version and add subscription. We'll need add subscription. So click on add subscription. What we need is subscription fields of messages, messaging postbacks, messaging options, deliveries, reads, and that's it. So this is all we want from the subscription fields. It's five fields. So let's go ahead, click on save, and that's done. Now, once this is done, I will go ahead and now I will go ahead and verify whether this chatbot is reflecting in my Facebook page or not because we have made all the integrations and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and let's go to our Facebook option where we can see pages and I can see my Transformer Dance Studio page. So I will go ahead on that. Now, me being the page owner uh, or editor, I can't you know, chat with myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to view as a visitor. And now I can see the option of message. So I will click on message. Now, once you can see that, now this is giving some options of the old chat, which I have done already. I will close this. I will say, hi. Now let's see what it responds with. As you can see, it is responding, hi, this is transformer bot. How may I help you today? So as you can see, we have created in our dialog flow, the first thing or the first intent of welcome intent, we set a message where it says, hi, this is transformer bot. How may I help you today? So this is the same thing, which we, which is reflecting there. Now let's go ahead and let's try the intent of uh, whether we are able to utilize intent from salsa or Zumba. So I will go ahead and I'll say, uh, tell me some facts. Salsa. Now it will pick any of the fact which we have feed as response to salsa 
and it will display right here as an answer or a response from your chatbot, which is salsa dancing is a mixture of several Latin dances, blah, blah, blah. And you can see it right here, which we have added here. So this is this one. So dialogue flow automatically selects any one of the response and it sends you back. So you can give a couple of options to the response, how a chatbot should response to your Facebook page and you can see the response here. Now let's go ahead and check if hip hop is working. So I'll just type hip hop and let's see if we get any message from hip hop intent. Hip hop dance is a vibrant form of dance that combines a variety of freestyle movements to create cultural piece of art. And that's wonderful. So our chatbot integration is working. And believe me, we just took really small amount of time to into the integration of dialogue flow, Facebook developer options, and immediately is reflecting as a chatbot on your Facebook page. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you want to watch such more videos, I'll be posting and please do comment, like, share, and let me know what would you like to see next in my channel. Thank you so much and happy automation.